Hey, welcome to my channel and to another Tag Tuesday. This is another spooky Halloween edition from Sandy over at Let's Get Fit with Sandy. And so I say Sandy and Jimmy tagged us, but it's always Jimmy that tags me and Mr. Smooth. That's who he tags. <laughs> <laughs> so these are would you rather Halloween questions. Number one, would you rather watch monster movies, slasher movies, or Halloween friendly movies? Well, I think we know the answer from last week. It's going to be Halloween-friendly movies. Because <laughs> yeah. I don't want to see no slashing, no monstering. I don't, I don't want to see none of that. What do you want to watch? I used to watch the Halloween movies when I, you know. Well, yeah. Stuff like that when I was younger. But I mean, if back in the yeah, day, back in we the day. watched the Friday the 13th and the Halloweens and the Freddy Kruegers. And yeah. Not yeah. the day. Yeah. Number two, when you were younger, would you rather climb trees or rake leaves for money? Oh, I was going to say, climb trees for money? I'll climb trees for money. <laughs> I don't like raking leaves. I climb trees all the time when I was little. I used to I jump out of trees. I used to, I used to, I used to have a, a big old pine tree in the backyard that made me a platform up there where you set up the nail boards in between limbs, you know, make old makeshift tree house, you know. Did you? Yeah, yeah, maybe one where you go up there and just sit. And we played army, you know, you get in the tree and play army, you yep. know. And uh, yeah, well, I've done both. I I climb trees and rake leaves for money, so yeah, I've done both. I didn't rake leaves for money, I would rather have climbed trees and foregone the money. Mm. <laughs> Number three, would you rather sit by a fire pit or a fireplace? Oh, those are two good ones. Uh, fire pit. Hey. I think a fire pit, too. I like a fireplace, but something about being outside around a fire pit or a bonfire, Yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Number four. Would you rather be surrounded by black cats or owls? Owls for me. Well, I like Y'all know I love my owls. But you know, some of them things can be spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen some of the spooky ones? Like their eyes look at you, they get mean, and they make that screechy noise. Mm -hmm. But I like a black cat, too, because they catch a bad rat. They're yeah. not, now, they're not bad luck, but I will cross one out if I'm going down the road and it runs in front of me. Mm -hmm. Y'all do that, X that thing out. But I guess to be surrounded... I guess I'll have to pick my owls. Spooky or not, I'll, I'll get some of them cute owls. Listen, them baby owls are adorable. Number five, would you rather have a still, silent night or a rainy, windy night? Wait. Well, you know which one mine is, a rainy, windy night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, love, I love a rainy night. Such a beautiful sight. Who sings that song? Uh, Eddie Rabbit. I knew you knew that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, this music savant. <laughs> um, yeah, I like a good rainy day, rainy night, windy. I like all that. What would you rather have? I think I'd rather have the steel, steel night with the, yeah. I don't know. You know what's wrong with the summertime with the lightning bugs and all that stuff, you know? Yeah. I think that'd be no. cool. I'll let you have it. <laughs> Number six, would you rather play on a Ouija board or tell ghost stories around the fire? Oh, why are you making me go first? I always go first. I'm letting you you go don't first. always go first. We, we go pretty much a mix. Okay. I'll go first. <laughs> Listen, I played with a Ouija board growing up. I don't know if them girls I was playing with was moving it. But it was moving. Today, you ain't getting me near no Ouija board. I ain't summonsing up nothing. You hear me? Nothing. I don't want to hear no ghost stories, but I will sit outside and listen to a ghost story before I will ever put my hands on one of them little Ouija boards ever again. Yeah. No, sir. Well, when I was younger, I didn't know the... We didn't know the difference. Yeah, we didn't know the... It was just a, a silly little game. Yeah, like... Oh, is your boyfriend blah, 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 blah. You know, none of this summons and up some demons and stuff. Yeah. 
<laughs> you picking the ghost stories? Oh yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. I don't mess with no Ouija board. Mm-mm. Let's see, what are we on? Number seven. Would you rather be trapped in a scary basement or a scary attic? <laughs> no. No. Well, if I think logistically, I think I'll pick the attic because I can jump out. If you're in the basement, good chance there's not going to be a window for you to climb out of. You see what I'm saying? Find your rain gutter or a Flat of yeah, or something. something, or just mm-hmm. just splat on the sidewalk. I don't care, just some way to get out. So I think, I think I'll pick the attic. Yeah, me too. Number, I keep forgetting what number we're on. I didn't blow this up. That's why I can't have to see it. I normally blow it up. Would you rather be the monster or the villain in a scary movie? Mm. I want to be a monster. want to be a monster. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's tough. I, I think I'd take the villain. Yeah. What kind of villain would you be? Um, You'd be some kind of analyzing mastermind. Yeah. You wouldn't yeah. be no, like, slashing villain. You'd be the one sitting back there twirling your mustache mm-hmm. thinking about what you were going to do. <laughs> Uh, number nine. Would you rather smell rotten pumpkin guts or rotten eggs? Whew. Well, I know rotten eggs stink. I don't know what a rotten pumpkin gut would t- smell like, but I think I'll pick the pumpkin. Yeah, I've never smelled rotten pumpkin, so I don't know. Um, I'm guessing the pumpkin. And yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Pumpkin, please. And number ten. Would you rather eat sweet pumpkin seeds or salty pumpkin seeds? He's no pumpkin seeds. <laughs> right. I've tried them before and I, I just don't get it. I, I can't do them. I've never had sweet. I've only had salty. So I guess I'll pick salty. I think I've just had them plain. I have never had sweet or salty. Oh, you never I've had I've just had them sal- plain. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they're good. If you get them roasted, good. Maybe I just didn't have them right, you yeah. know, fixed right or something. But. You know what we got to do since it's turning cold? Parch some peanuts. Oh, yeah. We got some right down there. That might have to be our weekend snack. Mm. Is it supposed to get cool this weekend? I'm not sure about that. Well, it's cold today, I'll tell you that. Well, it's not freezing, but cold enough for me to wear a jacket, so that's cold. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for our tag today. We will tag... Recipes with Roy, my friend Roy, and Suzanne's Brightline. Suzanne, she's over in New Zealand. So go check out both of their channels. They will be linked below. Thank you, Sandy and Jimmy, for the tag. And we'll see you on our next video. See ya. (laughs) Okay, so I just wanted to add this to the end of my tag video because I got some happy mail today. And you know I like to share it with you. This is from Jan Moss, who doesn't live too, too far from me, to tell you the truth. But we really need to meet up one day, Jan. So let me show you what she got me. Y'all know I was looking for hair combs. And so she got me some. I don't have any that size. That's a cute little size. And then a washi tape. Now, she had everything all bagged up nice and neat. And I've already ripped everything out of the bags. So some washi tape. Some cancel stamps, because y'all know I, I like to collect cancel stamps. A real pretty piece of lace. And another um, pretty lace. A couple of Valentine cards to work with. Kind of hard to open with one hand, but aren't those cute? And then some little owl cards. Look at those. I don't know if I'll use them in journals or to send to somebody. I don't know what I'll do. And then some Tonka stickers for Sebastian. You know, he'll put them in his sticker book that I, um, he's graduated up to a bigger one now. And then this, this made me cry. She says she found it out and she knew it. I just had to have it. 
so it's let me see if I can hold it up it's a Noel I'm gonna hang it over here on my wall somewhere a Noel hanging y'all know Noel is my um my niece that passed and so that means a lot and then she made this for Jacob she crocheted this for Jacob is that not the cutest little thing <laughs> I can't wait to see it on him Holly puts little toboggans on him now and he looks so cute in them so thank you Jan thank you for thinking of me and for thinking of my grandbabies I do appreciate it and so okay well that's all thank you